Hello everybody, Gibiot here, and welcome back to Hearthstone Arena. So, in this episode, we will continue playing with this glorious deck that hopefully will lead us to victory. So, without any further ado, let's do it. Uther versus Jaina! You asked for it. I will fight with honor. Okay, so we're going first, which isn't the isn't really the right thing because right now we're facing a mage which could be dangerous once again I don't know what's up with mages but it seems like there's more than usual into these arenas which is pretty strange indeed it's a conspiration they all plan to face me <laughs> or face all the paladins with this kind of deck hmm Right, well, I guess we have no choice. Hopefully he won't kill it right away. Because these stuns could be pretty annoying. Okay, fair enough. Right, do we send the Scarlet Crusader right now? Or do we wait? Because she has a Divine Shield. Which could be useful for a blood knight right here. Hmm. I wonder. Whatever those taunts. Yeah, okay, I'll need to get rid of them. I can't just send not send a minion right here because that would be pretty dangerous in the long term. If you place something behind that taunt. Locked and loaded. Okay, fair enough. I'm keeping that Divine Shield, which is pretty great. Actually, we could summon a 6-6 six six right here, which would be great. Hmm. You know, this could be a good option. And then we could Divine Shield that Scarlet Crusader once again. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Could do that on next turn, although not this turn, but still, pretty good. Glory to the Sindora! There we go, 6-6 six, six on turn 4, which is actually great. Yeah, he's probably gonna kill my Scarlet Crusader, so... That Argent Protector might be protecting the Blood Knight. Hopefully he doesn't have any Fireball, because that would kill him immediately. For the crusade! Right. We could armor of rat, but that will be pretty dumb. I could divine shield and then just strike that divine shield also. I wonder. Hmm. Okay, that takes two mana, so I'll have three. Right, here's what we'll do. Not on my watch. Reporting for Tears Northamar. Right. Now, if he wants to remove my Divine Shield, he will have no choice but to. Oh, wait, no, he has to Fire Blast. Okay, and this. Alright, this actually sucks. Okay. Good play. Very good play. Okay, Amar of Rat seems like a good option here. There we go. Now we go Armani. Kill her. Alright, seems like my only option here is to play Guardian of Kings. Which sucks because I can't use this battle cry to its to its full extent. Let me think. I can't really use her. Well, I could use her and Noble Sacrifice. 
could try that. Although Noble Sacrifice could be better could be better used than that. Right. Let me think. I think Guardian of Kings will be a good option. Although it's it's gonna be pretty weak. Because he probably has polymorph. Yeah well I can't trade if I do that. Move quickly. Okay, well, let's use that. Yeah, alright. That should work if he attacks either me or the dog scale either. So that's gonna work. Handle it. Okay, this is actually great. Yep, he's gonna trade. Which is exactly what I want him to to do. Alright, great. That worked out well. Get down. Drink with me, friend. Hello, Deathwing. You're gonna be useful later on, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so, what should we do here? This guy attacks four, which is quite a pain. Should we send our Guardsmen of Kings? Maybe just Divine Shield and just kill it. And then kill that Raid Leader. Let's try it. For duty. I feel like I could have used my mana a little bit more efficiently, but oh well. The gates are open. Mind if I roll need? Interesting. So if I land a strike on that Lord of the Arena, this would work pretty well. Let's try it. Up. Ah, yes. Right, that's good. So now I can trade. Where shall I go? And then we shall go. I think a big minion here would help a lot. Well, actually, no. Okay, now let's just send a small one. Reporting for I don't want to waste my Guardian of Kings because I'm pretty sure he's going to have a Polymorph at the ready. Well, he probably always has one, but... Yeah, I think that was actually a better play if I had played him right now. Alright, Fire Blast. Might need you later. Until right now, you're pretty useless to me. I could send Deathwing, but I don't feel this is the right situation to send him. Yeah, I need to wait a bit more because he probably still has, again, Polymorph, which would destroy Deathwing, which would be quite a big problem. Let's go with them. Oh no! What have I done? I should have sent my reinforce first. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, do I wait for him to have another minion? Yeah, that could be interesting. If I send out my mind control tag after that, that could actually actually help me. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna be the end for this turn. Reporting for duty. If we're lucky, this could help. Although I don't want that Raid Leader. Well, even then, it would pretty much help because it would give us some attack, which is always great. The light protects me. Silver Moon shall not fall. Yes, send out those minions. Oh yes, if I get them, then that's gonna be very fun. Very fun indeed. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six minions. 
Knight. I'm gonna play True Silver. Kill that. Kill that bear. And then hopefully we'll get a good minion out of it. Hmm. For justice. Engaging TC-130. Mental dislocator. Well, damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that could have gone way better. Reporting for duty. He's gonna attack first with that. Yep, this this secret pretty much sucks. I don't think I should have drafted it. They can easily predict it. Okay, you know what? It's death week time. I don't care anymore. For justice. No, I'm gonna keep that too, Silver. Please don't have polymorph. I hope you like my invention. Please don't get polymorph. My eyes are open. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Thank God it doesn't have it. And another true silver champion. Interesting. For justice. Job's done. For okay. Now let's hope it doesn't get either polymorph or power blast. Because this would be my doom. Or actually fire blast. Uh, fireball, I mean. So, there's actually quite a lot of ways that he could still kill us. Okay. Let's attack him directly. Hopefully that won't kill us. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Okay, we've been lucky. We've been lucky so far. 13 damage. 13 plus 4. That equals 17. We're one short of killing him. Alright, keep that consecrate just in case. And then... Reporting for duty. Alright, we're gonna keep that true silver, just in case. Okay, he's done. Oh, thank god. There was so many ways that I could lose this. We've been very lucky. Mind control text Lomo! <laughs> uh, Deathwing, I think you're my best friend right now. This guy. This guy really helps. <laughs> if you play him well, he can literally save your life. I think 3 out of those 4 wins are because of Deathwing, so... Yeah, this guy is amazing. I'm really glad that I taken him in my draft because I had the choice of three legendaries and I just said screw this I'm going Deathwing and that was the right choice right choice indeed right let's go for another, another one Uther versus Malfurion I must protect the wild I will fight with honor now we finally get someone that doesn't have huge removal which is actually great um, Noble Sacrifice is not worth it right now, but that Harvest Golem is gonna be of use. Okay, good enough. 
My greetings. Well met. Okay, that's actually a great turn one play. Because I don't have any answer to that. Should I send my 2 1? That would be really risky. Yep, I actually have no answer to that at all. If I send out something, this will only make him stronger. So that's one of the rare cases where playing nothing is just better. For the crusade! Okay, this is pretty bad. <laughs> He's just getting all my weaknesses right now. Targeting them pretty, pretty damn greatly. Uh, right. Arvis Golem. Should I send him out? That's a two three. So that guy is gonna get insanely what strong. I think. God, this is terrible. I don't have any way of responding to any of that. This is really bad. Well. I'm gonna go this and this. So that will at least do three damage to him. Of course, gonna attack. The light protects me. Okay, this eye for an eye. Next time I'm not gonna draft that. It's really bad. Oh, damn it. If only you summoned one more minion. This could save me right now. This is just bad. He has four attack. Which... One, two, three, four, five. So that's six... So he's gonna have to sacrifice the Divine Shield and his Worgen to kill my Twilight Drake. Which he probably won't do. You know what? Let me think. I think this is way too dangerous to be kept alive. Not sure if that's the right choice, but I'm gonna do it because that's 8 damage on the field, which is terrible. We'll just take 2 instead. Well played. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Okay. I think I'm gonna. I'm just gonna send out this one because it's. A sure way to actually do stuff to him. Then this For one. Justice. Yeah, I don't want him to have any spell damage. This is really bad. Okay, no. First, we're gonna attack this, and then go this. Please be good. Well, you're terrible. believe he's gonna have lethal next turn <laughs> and I can't do anything about it well I could kill a Scarlet Crusader but in the long term 
Okay. I think this is gonna be our first loss, guys. We don't have any answer to anything that he put. Behold the might of Stormwind. Yep, this is the end. The victory is. Let's try again. Hopefully we won't lose this time. I think one of the weaknesses of this deck is just the fact that I don't have any 3-2s, which... Oh yeah, no, actually I do, but... Yeah, it's pretty weak against... It doesn't have much removal, which is something I should put more. More spells that can actually attack the enemy directly, because it was pretty bad. If I drafted Consecration, that would have helped it helped a lot but yeah it was a combination of bad luck and just good plays from him right Uther versus Anduin the light shall bring victory I will fight with honor pretty good first draft only thing I wish I could not get is Tormoin Champion, but else than that, it's pretty good. Especially since we got the coin, because Twilight Drake is gonna be the most effective. A little too silver. Should we go Torin Warrior right now? Eh, he doesn't have anything on the field, so. Mind if I roll knee? Do you like to play with fire? Pretty good play. So, should we summon the Master of One Ones, or should we go Torin? Well, Torin's gonna get killed instantly. So, Master of One Ones, let's go. I am not a morning Interesting place. Alright, Twilight Drake is gonna be appropriate because that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. God, that's gonna be a four, eight. Plus the fact that he's immune from uh, Shadow Ward Pain and Shadow Ward Death, which is pretty cool. Get behind me. Okay, so this one is clearly dying. For justice. Right. Let's keep that board controlled while we well, we can. Oh, I am not a morning person. <laughs> okay, do we go Sea Giant or Taslingo? Hmm. 
This giant could be good, but he probably has the Shadow of Death. So we'll go test and go for now. Tazdingo! Yes! Also, why not send a Amani Berserker? Because he might be useful against those 1-1s. One yeah. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Right. Then do we kill her? I think we should because she will keep summoning 1-1s. One we'll just use that imp with the Amani Berserker if he doesn't sacrifice it to my Tazdingo, which would be actually great. So hmm. Truth is my shield. Right. I don't really want to consecrate, but I think this is our only option to get rid of that divine shield. Or maybe we could send a storm wind. Don't really see the use in that though. Let me think. Okay, we're gonna go with Undertaunt and then a one one. With the Divine Shield, maybe? Okay. Mm. Let's try doing this. Reporting for duty. Okay, can I... Okay, yes, I could play Sea Giant here. Not sure if that was the best option, because if he has Shadow of Death, it's... It's dead, but still. That was a good play. Okay, getting one of these minions would be pretty great. So let's try it out. Engaging TC-130 into this locator. Okay, that's pretty good actually. And then... We could consecrate. Get rid of him. Hey, come on. Thank you. That was easily your best game yet. <laughs> that was pretty good. And no need for Deathwing for once, which is pretty great. Right. This deck worked out pretty... Pretty excellent, if I do say so myself, on this case. Right. Let's go with one last match. And that's gonna be the end for this episode. Uther versus Rexa. Let the hunt begin. I will fight with honor. This is definitely not a good first draw. Okay, this is not good either. Right, 
So I want to send out my Art and Protector. I would have no choice but to give him a Divine Shield, which would really suck. Humility sounds like a good play here because he still have he has four attack, which is yeah we're gonna use it. We have no real other choice. Reporting for duty. Because taking another four damage plus another one, that would suck. Eight damage, which we cannot even face. So. Okay, that's a 2 damage, still not too bad. God, this isn't great. I guess we'll have to go through silver. For justice. Job done. Your magic shall not save you. Wish I had some kind of removal right now. I do have my true silver, so this could be an option. Not on my watch. No, actually, no, no, don't do that. That's not a valid target. I know, just send him back. Thank you. For justice. Let me kill him. Let's go, minion. Reporting for duty. Right, there's so many situations where I wish I could play my mind control attack, but I can't right now. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with just an attack and just... Let me think. Yeah, we'll go with him because I think... Yeah, that's 3 damage. Okay. Not on my watch. We'll keep our minions on the field. Keep board control. That's what we need to focus on right now. Reporting for duty. Should probably have sent a mind control tech because that's still a 3 3, which is not too bad. Oh, he's focusing on that board control. My shield. Okay, so that's two mana, five mana, so that's seven. Okay, the should, battle. Uh, should just kill him first. No. Then, oh wait, no, that's very dumb of me. I should not have done that. Oh god, I could have used this Divine Shield. Ah, oh, I'm dumb. It's all minions, not just allies. <laughs> oh, I feel bad now. That was a mistake. Right. I wonder. Let's just send them first. Just so I can actually send them. Then, eye for an eye, that would be useful right now.
might lose again. Two damage, two damage. And I can't send any minion after that. Hmm. Glory to the Sindora! Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator! No, I have no choice, because we'll need to trade next turn in. Getting desperate here, so we need to. Please Deathwing. <laughs> Please Deathwing draft. That would be great. I really need you Deathwing. Oh wait, no, he's, he's gonna kill me. Well, GG. Okay, so, next episode we're gonna see if we're gonna continue or just lose. So, yeah, well, still, five wins is reasonable. It's not too bad. My record is seven, so, I mean, that's not really bad. In fact, I think that's my second best arena so far. So, yeah, that's gonna be the end for this episode, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'm gonna see you all in the next episode, and hopefully we'll survive the next match.